Lisa Francine. I'm a freelance makeup artist and I'm based in New York City. Um, I've been doing makeup for about eight years and um, I've been freelancing for six years. I specialize in beauty and fashion makeup. I've also done, done makeup for some television for some of my um, celebrity clients and um, for promo, fashion week, you name it. So I'm um, a little bit of everything, I would say. Wow. Um, I, that, that is kind of a long story, but um, funny enough is it started off as a hobby. You know, I was in college and um, I started working in cosmetics and it became more of a, like a love because I love the way I made people feel and then it kind of became an obsession because I wanted to just kind of get myself out there and see how to get like work that I saw in magazines and ads and I was like oh, I want to freelance too. Um, some of my major clients are, um, Mary Mary is uh, one of my um, major clients at the moment. Um, I've done like a lot of things with them. You know, I did Black Girls Rock with them. I've done um, some promo work with them for their reality show. Um, but I usually work with them when they're in New York. Um, I've done like, you know, um, some television appearances with them too. Like Wendy Williams or like Good Day New York and things like that. And another one of my clients is Essence Magazine. Um, I do a lot of um, like stuff with them. Usually I'm in the style section of the magazine and sometimes I do some of the beauty work. But you should look out for me in the um, next two issues of Essence. My work will be in there. It will be in the July and August 2012 issue. My top three favorite products in my makeup kit are <laughs> um, brow, the Dior Brow Styler. I really love that. I'm like a brow kind of girl, so I've been told. I don't want to be a brow person, but you know, I, apparently I do a pretty decent brow, a pretty decent brow. So I love the Dior Brow Styler because I don't like the brow to be too dark. I like the fact that it's very precise. You know, it's, it's a fine, retractable crayon so to speak and it really just gets to the point it's universal brown so I don't really have to think about um, what color the person's hair is to match it things of that nature so it's a really good brow pencil also the beauty blender that has saved my life significantly if you don't have a beauty blender get it as soon as you can because I've been in situations where I've like had people start tearing up and you know the makeup kind of messes up underneath the eye and the beauty blender really just blends everything seamlessly and flawlessly so get a beauty blender if you can yes and my last but not least and this is a new favorite you know um, I just started using them but um, I'm pretty impressed I, I must say and I think that I will be using them for the rest of my life <laughs> for as long as I do makeup. It would be the um, shadow shields. So when you're on set, they are a must, especially if you um, are doing multiple looks and you're doing a smoky eye. You put the shadow shields under your, each eye and if you have any fallout from your eyeshadow application, it will fall on the actual shadow shield, so to speak, and then you just peel them off. and. Your, your eyes is still intact, so you don't have that little raccoon effect that may happen. Those are my top three favorite products, and um, those are must-haves, so go out and get them. Tell them that Teresa Francine told you so.